Hi all. In this video, we are discussing about Open HRMS Salary Advance in Order 50. Open HRMS is an open source HR management software that envisions building a happier workspace for employees. Open HRMS takes care of all your HR process while you take care of all your employees. It works well both large scale and small scale enterprises. So in this video, we are discussing about Open HRMS Advanced Salary in Order 50. It is one of the component in Open HRMS suite. It helps the user to manage salary advance requests from employees. So let's look on that feature. For that, we need to install the OHRMS Salary Advanced module in the, from the App Store. So let's check it. The Open HRMS Advanced Salary, which have technical name OHRMS Salary Advanced. So currently in my database, I already installed this module. So I would be able to access this feature. Once we install this module, you would be able to access the feature. So for that feature, let's go to the uh, payroll module. While we install this module under the payroll, under the configuration salary rules, we can see a new rule that is salary advance. Advanced salary, which of a deduction type, reduction category of code SAR and of Python code inputs SAR and inputs minus SAR amount. So once we install this module, you got a rule like advanced salary. And if we need to apply this uh, salary, apply this uh, salary advance for the employees, you need to create a salary structure. So I am creating a salary structure. of reference advance and then you will need to add the rules so i am adding uh, only adding some rules like basic salary net salary gross and also the advanced salary and based on this advanced salary rule a new structure is created and then let's try to create the advanced salary requests and then and can give the advanced salary for employees so for that let's go to the employees module uh, before uh, creating a salary request, I am create. I am trying to creating a salary request for the employee Anita Oliver. So let's look on the her contract. So currently in her contract, she added the structure as base for new structures. So I am changing her structure as advanced structure. Why? Because uh, if uh, he or she is creating a ad uh, salary advance request, uh, its amount will be detected from the pay slip based on the salary structure. So I added uh, her salary structure as a structure which have a rule of advanced salary. And the contract it is in a running. And then uh, in the employees, we can see a new menu loans and advances. So under the loans and advances, we can see the request salary advance. Click on the create button. A form view will appear. Here we can choose the employee. So I choose the employee as Anita Oliver. Automatically the department will be get it. And then I added the advanced amount as $1,000. And then the date is, today date is automatically populated at here. And added a reason as personal. And we can add a particular debit account, credit account, and a journal, which we can add these particular debits and credits, the entries. And then save the particular request and submit it. And currently I'm logged in as Michelle admin who is one of the admin. So I can see the approve button. Click on the approve button. So there will be a user error will pop up. That means you need to add the contract of Anita Oliver here. So I am. So I choose a contract and then click on the approve button. So it get approved. So a new request, salary advance request is created for Anita Oliver of advance amount $1,000 with have a sequence SAR001. Then let's try to create a payslip for Anita Oliver. So go to the payroll module. So on the employee payslips, choose the employee as Anita Oliver. Automatically the salary structure and then is contract and then the payslip name is get at here and then save it. Let's confirm it. So in the salary computation, we can see 
the advanced amount of thousand dollar will be detected from her salary. She have a basic salary of four thousand five hundred dollar, and the advanced amount thousand is detected, and her net salary is three thousand five hundred dollar. Likewise, we can create salary advance requests of the employees, and then the high level managers can approve or refuse it. And based on that salary requests, the advance amount will be automatically deducted from their pay slip. That's all about the feature of advance salary in Open HRMS. Thank you for watching the video. If you want to know more details about OpenHRMS, you can visit openhrms.com.